guys welcome back to my channel tonight we are doing the christmas home tour um a lot of my decor is a bit older i have a few new things so one of the new things is the let it snow that's from at home if anything is new i'll let you guys know um but a lot of it is a bit older because i'm not someone to go out and buy new decor each time but these snowflakes and window gels are from lowe's and the snowflakes light up at night and my banister, the beaded garland, is from at home and I had to move it because Alira was messing with it. Um, I have a mixed theme here of traditional Christmas and beach theme Christmas, kind of like my fall decor. So we have a mixed bag here. Those three trees are brand new. They're from Target. Um, so yeah, just, you know, Kind of another mixed bag. Hopefully one day we'll be able to kind of curate the decor and do beach theme one year and then traditional another year, but that's a lot of decor to hold on to. Um, let me talk about this angel real quick. This is from my Oma. My Oma had this in her Christmas decor and my mom passed it down to me because it kind of looks a little beachy themed. So <laughs> that is a little sentimental to me just because it was from my Oma. Um, I'll also talk about the things that my sister handmade. My sister <laughs> made this advent box calendar. We love advent calendars here. It's a very European thing to do, advent calendars, but each little box opens up and you can put chocolates in there or little tiny gifts in there or something, whatever you want. It's super cute. I can't wait to have it for when Alira is older and she can open up each day and be excited. Um, this table runner is new. It's from Amazon. It was only 10 bucks and I figured it could go either way, traditional or beach theme. So that's uh, new. Everything on this side of our house is a bit older and you may not be able to find anything like that. A lot of our decor is from Target, uh, Hobby Lobby, or things that my sister made. So this isn't new, but Alex bought this for me a while ago. It's supposed to have little candles on it, but Alex bought it because it was very European looking and it was actually from Tuesday morning. So sometimes they have kind of random things like that. Um, super cute. I love it. My sister also made this advent calendar. This one's really cute. You just open the little doors and there's a different picture behind each flap. So another kind of fun thing, Alira is kind of having fun with this one right now and we're looking at each different picture and all that kind of stuff. So uh, super cute. Uh, she's very, very crafty. <laughs> So moving on to outside, um, my mom added the seashells and little starfish to this wreath because in mine and Alex's very first apartment, we decorated our outdoor area in like a beachy theme because if you've ever lived in an apartment, sometimes they'll have contests of best outdoor porch decorating, get $100 off your rent. Well, of course we won. <laughs> Um, so that was a wreath that was more traditional, but my mom added the seashells to it to make it a little more beachy. And here was the garland that we used in that, um, outdoor apartment decor. <laughs> I got really lucky and it fit on our banister here. It fits perfectly. It wraps all the way around our banister. Um, it's clearly very beachy themed. We spelled out joy 
and the wreath in the middle was actually from Hobby Lobby a while ago and that was the, the wreath that inspired everything of what we were going to do. Um, when we were decorating that apartment, my mom was actually living with us at the time because she was having her dream home built. So my mom and sister helped me a lot. My sister actually made that Noel sign with her craft supplies. So yeah, they helped me get a hundred dollars off my rent and I still use it. Um, I was so happy to put up the garland this year. These pillow covers are from Amazon. They're recent. We just got them and we just buy covers for the size of pillows that we have and it's kind of nice because it just keeps everything a bit more tidy in the house instead of having a bunch of extra pillows laying around. So our Christmas tree is like an animal themed tree, I guess. We have a bunch of different animals on here. Some sea animals, land animals, all kinds of stuff. Um, and then a bit of a traditional feel to it with the snowflakes and stuff like that. So um, a lot of these ornaments are not breakable <laughs> because we have our two year old daughter who is very interested in the tree. She's taken a few off and rearranged it a couple of times, but good thing is most of these aren't breakable. Um, but yeah, we just, we have a bunch of different animals. I've added a few new animals. My mom found some at World Market, I think is where most of the animals are from. Um, like the paper mache looking ones. This ostrich is new and I know that's from World Market. Um, the seahorse might be from at home because they have beach themed decor every year. The buffalo is from World Market. Um, that's recent. But yeah, we just kind of have a mixed bag of ornaments here. <laughs> um, this one is actually from our first Christmas with Alira. She was four months old in that picture. We were still living in the apartment and we set up the camera ourselves and took a picture. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Look how little she was. So the paper mache dolphin there, Alira recently bit the nose off of it and showed me and said, oh no, broken. So love that from you guys. So there you have it, our Christmas home tour. Um, I hope you guys found this inspirational if you wanted to do something different next year. I know this is getting posted late, but anyway, as always, live life in full bloom, and I will see you guys later. Bye!